Today we're going to clone cells using the Agaros method. The advantage of this method is that you don't have to look at hundreds of plates for single clones and you don't have to let your plates dry out because we're going to keep them moist with a layer of Agaros. So in preparation for this I have microwaved 2% Agaros and this is just simply Agaros in water and I have uh, prepared a two times solution of DMEM so that the final solution when I mix it one to one will be isotonic. I have a plate of cells here that have grown uh, in selective medium and I have circled the colonies. I'll show you that in a minute. And I have here a 48 well plate where I've put about a hundred microliters of uh, so, uh, growth medium, selective growth medium, into the bottom of each plate. So the first thing is to get rid of the medium in, on top of the clones. And for this I usually will aspirate, but because I'm working here on the bench, of course you will be working in the hood where everything is sterile, and I'm doing this only because of the noise of the hood. Um, we have to remove all the medium from the plate here. Remember to take it all off or the agarose won't stick. Um, and so let's get rid of that. The next thing is to combine the uh, agar and the 2 times DMEM. So the 2 times DMEM is in this, uh, been prepared here with heapies and bicarb and glutamine and everything that cells like. And now I'm going to mix it one to one with this agarose that I have microwaved, which is extremely hot. It takes a few minutes of microwaving. It should be completely uh, liquid and it's going to be extremely hot so I'm going to mix this and it will still liquid uh, still remain liquid uh, when it's mixed with the uh, two times DMEM and you want to get it all in there okay so now how do I know whether this is ready to pour on the cells well you put it on your cheek, or you can put it on your hand, but it's more sensitive to be on your cheek. It should just be barely warm. If it's at all hot or a little, little too warm, your cells will not survive. So if it's still warm, but it hasn't yet started to form solid agarose, you're ready to go. And then you'll just simply lift the plates. Again, you're working in the hood, but I'm working out here, and pour it on there. And what this does is provides a nice moist layer of isotonic gel to keep uh, all the cells happy while you're picking them. However, picking them is actually a fairly rapid procedure. We're going to use a uh, uh, 200 uh, microliter pipetman that's been washed with ethanol because we're pretending that we're working in the hood. And we're going to use these truncated special pipette dips that are sterile that you can buy. You can cut your own in autoclave it, but they're really not expensive and I recommend just buying them. Alright, so how do you know that your cells are ready to be picked? You can see that the agar has gelled. And if I turn the plate, you can see all the, pl all the clones that I circled uh, um, right there. Uh, I think you can see the holes. I'll show it to you a little bit. Uh, one that is actually picked already. Alright, so I have uh, cleaned off my pipetman and now I'm going to get my um, truncated pipette tips ready and I'll open this up and I'll simply put my pipette tip down uh, and I will pick the clone by scraping a little bit and sucking up as I do this. The recipient plate now has a little bit of um, uh, medium in it and I'll pipette up and down really quickly like this uh, just up and down and that will show me I'll have bubbles in that well and I'll know that that well has been picked and I'll, that's to get the cells hopefully off the agarose. The agarose does not seem to bother cell growth. Uh, now we'll pick another clone and move it over to the well and now we'll pick another clone of course, you can't have an ejector on a tissue culture pipette because it would be impossible to clean. Pick another clone, put it into the well, and the bubbles tell me where I am, and so I don't have to think about which well because you only want one clone per well. All right, so that's the way you can pick a plate of clones in 10 to 15 minutes without using cloning rings. I'm not going to show you any more. But this is what the plate will look like 
uh, after you're finished, it'll have a lot of holes in it. Uh, and those holes correspond to the, the um, uh, actual clones that I've picked from this plate already in the, uh, in the hood. So after the, uh, all your 48 clones are picked, I recommend doing two plates of these on successive days because uh, you never know, something might go wrong and then you have another uh, plate that you can pick the next day. And uh, I'm going to put the growth medium in here about halfway up and just let them sit for a week, feed them once a week, at which point we'll do another video on how to screen a 48 well plate painlessly.